أنزلناه قرآنا عربيا لعلكم تعقلون نحن نقص عليك أحسن القصص بما أوحينا إليك هذا القرآن وإن كنت من قبله لمن الغافلين Egyptian army, commanded by Haramhoth, returns to Egypt triumphantly after years of war with Amorites. territory, massacring many people. They attempted to change the border to their advantage. We defeated Amorites and reduced their numbers. We killed many thousands of their soldiers. Much of their wealth has been taken by the Egyptian army. After comprehensively defeating them, 
We beheaded their king and his family in front of their troops and his body. Harama, although I am grateful for your valor and devotion, I have many further things to report. But I do not wish to hear about murder or plunder. Although I understand Egypt owes its present security to the bravery of Commander Arama. And were it not for your valor, Egypt may not still stand. Pharaoh Akhenaten will hear your reports on the war, but not reports on any killing. Commander Haramhab, give your reports in a manner that does not disturb His Highness. In a ruse, will you not refresh our brave commanders with some tasty wine? Do they want that they have brought so many animals? Just look at their pot bellies. Obviously, they constantly need to fill those fat bellies. Who are they? They have come from the north, the Kiberians. They've come to buy wheat. We have so much wheat that we are selling to them too? see that the priests have come to buy wheat as well. Yes, and a triple the price to everyone else. Presently, our situation is worse than theirs. Why do you not help us? They are Kiberians, and also humans. In addition, they have been giving to the Egyptian government a huge portion of their revenue for many years. Now that they are famine-stricken, it is our duty to help them. Amon is a wealthy god. Should he not spend a portion of his great wealth to help his priests? Amon used to be wealthy, yet he is wealthy no longer, as you have taken what he had. Your Excellency, he is the treasurer of Amon Temple. And he has just given us good news. What good news? Later, my friend. Let's move on. Some prophets are superior to other prophets. Were there other prophets before you? There have been many prophets before me, as there will be after me. Adam is the father of all humans. Noah, and my grandfather, Abraham, were before me. Joseph and the other prophets will be after me. The last prophet, who was Ahmad, was the descendant of my uncle, Ishmael. Father, which prophet is superior to all prophets? The one whose prophethood dominance is the vastest. Each of the prophets is ordained to guide one part of the world. I, for one, am ordained to guide my nation. And one prophet is ordained to carry out God's rule all over the world. He is the last prophet. Why hasn't Benjamin come? Doesn't he know I'm waiting for him? Don't worry, Father. I will go and get him.
We just went to reap the crop. Although the harvest is meager, we will starve to death if we don't reap it. I was just tired. So I thought I would just rest a little. And then... Benjamin, you know that Father waits for you at every sunset. You mustn't keep him waiting. Sometimes something happens. And so I am busy. I don't mean to ignore him. Benjamin, stop making excuses. You know that you must visit Father. Yes, I do. I'm sorry. I'll go now. I won't keep him waiting any longer. Let's go. Forgive me, Father. I promise, I'll come to you first, whenever I return from the fields. I suffer enough from the separation of Joseph. Do not make it worse, my son. May God never forgive me if I hurt you further. After Joseph, I have no one but you. Seeing you calms me greatly. If you remember, many times I dissuaded the Pharaoh from taking action against Amon Temple and Amon worshipping. Has the appropriate time finally arrived? It certainly has. Lady Nefertiti and Lady Asenath, please leave us alone now. Amon Temple has now lost most of its wealth, and most of its followers. I know that. Many people have converted to monotheism. I suggest that it is announced in all cities that as of now, monotheism is the official religion in Egypt. Did you hear that, Harmab? We are monotheists, and as of now, worshipping Amon will be considered a crime. Although I have great respect for Amon Temple, I choose my lord's order over my belief and religion. I expected nothing else. In the same way you removed enemies from Egypt's borders, polytheism and idolatry must be removed from Egyptian culture. Yes, your highness. As of now, I will begin. We must prepare ourselves for the temple's resistance and the fights between monotheists and idolaters. The entire Egyptian army must be on alert. We may be forced to repress a rebellion. Although I am against killing or bloodshed, I believe there may be no choice. We waited many years and postponed fighting the temple in order to avoid the possible bloodshed this may cause. Don't worry, your highness. Our goal is to avoid bloodshed. to have 
have become quite attached to each other. The Pharaoh considers Excellency Yusar Sif to be a divine guide. O oh, prophet of God, pray that no blood is shed during this change, and that no human loses his life. Sometimes to achieve lofty goals one must pay dearly. Perhaps blood might be shed by the sapling of faith. And that blood enlightens the darkened hearts and revives the dead hearts. Nevertheless, I hope that the one God will help his followers and that faith defeats infidelity and polytheism. Send couriers throughout Egypt and announce monotheism as the official religion. Inform the priests that as of now it is a crime to encourage Amon worship and the perpetrators will be punished. Order the heralds to announce this in all cities. Go on. May Amon forgive me. I must follow orders. Although Amon is the great god of Egypt, Akhenaten is the great pharaoh of Egypt, and a son of gods. Although Akhenaten is not a good son, he has betrayed the father gods and rejected his religion. By order of the pharaoh of Egypt, the great Akhenaten, and the wise Yusar as of today, the official religion of the Egyptian people is monotheism. As of today, worshipping Amon or other statues of gods is considered a sin and an unforgivable crime. that Yuzar Sif would destroy idolatry in the end. We must fear the priests. They will not remain silent. By order of the Pharaoh of Egypt, the great Akhenaten, and the wise Yuzar Sif, as of today, the official religion of the Egyptian people is monotheism. <laughs> What's the one god done for us that we should believe in him? This is Yusar Sif scheming. You are just against Yusar Sif because he has degraded you. We have seen nothing from Yusar Sif but blessing and serving of the people. He didn't serve you. It was the likes of me and him who served you. He emptied the chests of Amman and the pockets of the people like me to fill the stomachs of lowly people like you. The likes of you are just against Yuzar Sif's god, because he didn't make you richer. I wonder how you've left the living and present god to worship the absent, unseen god. Because your living and present gods only helped the wealthy and did nothing for us, while Yuzar Sif's god saved us from famine, slavery, and servitude. We believe that Yuzar Sif's unseen god is far more present than your visible God. By order of the Pharaoh of Egypt, the great Akhenaten, and Yuzar Sif the Wise, the official religion of the Egyptian people as of today is monotheism. Hear this. As of today, the worship of Amon or other statues of gods is a sin and considered an unforgivable crime. How dare you speak that, you fools? Shut up right now! Priest, disobeying the Pharaoh will lead to the loss of your head. Are you saying that Akhenaten has ordered you to say this in public? That's right. 
by order of Pharaoh Akhenaten and the Governor Excellency Uzar Sif, Amman is no longer. I knew that Yusuf Sif's actions would lead us to this. Your Eminence, many people still worship Amman. There are presently people gathered outside the temple who want to fight Amman's enemies. We must defend our existence. We will fight Yusuf Sif. Akhenaten doesn't know how powerful the priests are. With what troops will we fight? We have no soldiers. Yes, we do. The people will fight. Mobilize them and give them arms. You will see that they fight. By order of the Pharaoh of Egypt, the great Akhenaten, and the wise Yusar Sif, as of today, the official religion of Egypt is monotheism. You must stop worshipping Amon or other gods and worship Aten, the one god. I knew monotheism would eventually become the official religion. Yusasif has no right to ban Egypt's religion. We have been saved by Yusasif and his god. What did Amon or the priests do for us? <laughs> If it wasn't for you, Zasif, famine would have killed all the people. Why are you fighting each other? Why? Greetings to Amon, god of all the gods. Greetings to Amon, god of all the... What? What? Down what are you with doing? Amon. What are you doing? What is going on? Ah, uh, down uh, with Amon! Worshipping Amon a crime? Yes, by Pharaoh Akhenaten's order. And so is attacking monotheists. Come on! Move! By order of the Pharaoh of Egypt, the great Akhenaten and the wise Yusor Sif, as of today, the official religion of Egypt is monotheism. The religion of Egypt is now monotheism. Stop worshipping Amon or other gods and worship Aten, the one god. Worshipping Amon is not bad for priests. They have the best food, the most fun, and the prettiest women. Why would they be against them all? Is it right that Yusa Sif has made all Egyptians his and the government slaves? And made people like me destitute? It makes absolutely no difference to us because we have been slaves all our lives. Nothing has changed for us. It is painful for you because you are used to having many slaves. User Sif's greatest sin is causing the likes of you to become so indolent. From where he stands, it must be difficult to lose so much power. As of today, the official religion of the Egyptian people is monotheism. As of today, it is considered a crime for Amon worshippers to attack any monotheist, and they will be punished severely. Attacking monotheists is considered an unforgivable crime. All this is because of you, Sarsi. Do you hear that, my friend? Not only do the people worship him, but now his god as well. <laughs> Frankly speaking, both he and his god are worth worshipping. 
You have no right to insult Amon. Amon has been Egypt's god for a thousand years. No one is allowed to attack Monotheus. But they are allowed to attack Amon? Yes. It is now a crime to attack Monotheus. Do you see? In the city of Amon, the city of temples and goddesses, Monotheists are free. But Amon worshippers go to prison. Curse be upon cold, stony gods. Curse to Amon. Calm down. You mustn't insult their gods. Which side are you on? I want to be able to curse Amon and insult the priest. If you insult their god, then they will insult the one god. Do you want that? No. No, I don't. But I swear on the one god. I have suffered so much at the hands of the temple priest that I cannot control myself. What chaos Joseph has created. <sighs> But he is right. If my god had done so much for me, I would move earth and sky to worship him. What do you want? Why are you here? Your Eminence, we are ordered not to worship Amon, but instead worship the One God. We must know what Eminence Ankh Mahu says. Why are you not doing anything? The Pharaoh's heralds have been announcing monotheism as the official religion. Are you saying that the heralds are advocating monotheism openly? We have buried our heads in the sand and are oblivious to what is going on around us. Yuzarsif has done what he wanted, and struck the final blow to Amon worshippers. We must do something. We must now formulate a plan. You should have had a plan long before this. Why didn't you kill Yuzarsif and Akhenaten when I told you to? Now it is too late for a plan. I did what was necessary at the time. <laughs> what you did was to help Yuzarsif reach his goals. You just sat back and watched it happen. I must admit that Yusar Sif and his god are very powerful. Yusar Sif's god's not powerful. We are incapable and powerless. Does Paddy Amon consider himself wiser than Eminence Ankh-Mahu? Why shouldn't he? When Ankh-Mahu's wisdom has gained us absolutely nothing. Obviously, Paddy Amon's sword will consider itself more capable. I have not seen him, but I have seen his power. I don't know about his god, but I respect Yuzarsif. Who is Yuzarsif's god that I must worship him? Have you seen him? Do you know him? Go on, tell us! Yuzarsif's god is the one who realizes his interpretation of dreams and fulfills his promises. I don't see his god, but I see his signs and feel his existence. Tell me how I can prefer what I cannot see to a man who is in front of my eyes. So what we can't see must not be worshipped? But the god who has done nothing for his followers, the god who left us to starve, must be worshipped? Yes. The god who takes violent vengeance against his enemies is worth worshipping. As of now, this is the answer that Amon will give to his enemies and the monotheist infidels.
Hariyaman and the priests, killing a man is as easy as breathing. How could he take the life of an innocent man so easily? I had wished to be lenient on the priests, but how can I overlook this? As of now, worshipping Amon or other gods and advocating idolatry is a crime. Any perpetrator will be imprisoned. If the priests kill any more innocent people, I'll bring the temple down on their heads. Announce that from now, these vigilantes are banned from Amon propagation, and attacking monotheism shall be penalized severely. This is Yusar Zeef's doing. He will not stop until he has everybody worshipping his god. My lady Zuleika, are you happy or sad about this? Do you want people to worship Yusar Zeef's god? Or do you want them not to? I have not reached a conclusion yet, but I think they had better worship his god. Some people worship Joseph instead of his god. I don't know Joseph's god well, but does he not appear worth worshipping? Before this, you and the priests ate much and gained weight. Yes, now yes, all of us like benefit it. from Egypt's blessings equally. What's wrong with that? Yes, mm. we did. Yes. All of yes, us. Yes, that's right. right. That's course. right. Yeah, I agree. We did yes, all of us. Of course, yes. Joseph is sifting through all the Egyptian people. But instead of the small ones falling through, it is the big ones who are falling instead. <laughs> Do you recall Yusar Sif always liked the slaves since he was a boy? A long time ago, I gave him a pearl. He sold it and spent the money on the palace workers. He would always visit the slaves and the servants in the adjacent yard. He would always listen to their pains and help them. Worshipping Amon is a crime. You must be jailed. What are you doing? How dare you, you touch can't me? You do this! Get your hands off me! Let me go! Release me now! We made a mistake. During the famine, we thought only of ourselves and the temple workers. We ignored the people and the problems caused by the famine. The past is finished. We need a solution for the present. Some people are ordered to kill Yuzarsif and Akhenaten. We should have killed those two dangerous creatures a long time ago. I think we can still attract people back to Amon worshipping. Mobilize the people with what is left of Amon's wealth. We must leave nowhere safe for the worshippers of Yuzarsif's god. They must be destroyed wherever they are. So far, they have arrested many of the temple priests and Amon followers. Whoever insults Yuzarsif's god will be arrested. Ariaman must attack one of the silos with his soldiers and confiscate wheat for the temple and the temple workers. I want to scare them in a way that they will never forget. That is not a solution. All that that is, is suicide. Being expedient is enough. 
I'll no longer allow others to decide for me. Your silence has destroyed everything. You will only get many people killed. I am thinking about the future, and I'm on worship. You are thinking only of being right. Calm yourself, so we can then think wisely. Why don't you sit back and think wisely? I know well what to do with my soldiers. I hope he does not destroy everything. If you ask me, I say you must worship the one who is more transcendent than you, the one whose attributes are all superior to yours. Which is loftier, the rock, the wood, or is it the animals we keep for food, or is it you? Undoubtedly, all creatures are under your dominance and inferior to you. You mean we are superior to all other creatures? Yes, you are superior to all the other creatures. Can any of you show me a creature superior to humans? superior to humans. Your gods are made of rock and wood. Are rock and wood superior to you? <laughs> Is a lifeless, powerless, dependent god who has no good or evil for you worth worshipping more than the god who with his endless might sent seven years of rain to save you from death during the famine. We worship the one who sent us his messenger in order to save his sinful servants. He inflicted suffering upon him for many years, had him imprisoned in jail in order that he may save his servants one day. As soon as we set foot outside the temple, people will know we are there to fight. Obviously, they will then fight back. And so, we will go in disguise, carrying our weapons under our clothes. Be prepared. And at the silos at noon, when the sun is highest. As usual, I will go to the silos with my soldiers to get wheat. We will surprise them. When the opportunity arises, we will attack the silos' guards and workers, and thus seizing all the wheat for the temple. We will kill whoever resists. All of them. Now break into groups of three or four. Then leave the temple at intervals. Also, take as many beasts of burden as you can to carry the wheat.
Thirty measures. Fifteen measures. Twenty measures. Twenty measures. They, they were carrying swords under their clothing. Hurry! Is there a problem? We have come to get wheat as always. Has the temple not got wheat from you before? All right, next. 30 measures! Over there. 50 measures!
What happened? Who did this? Use our safe. Thank God. The prophet of God isn't hurt. Dying for User Seif's path is an honor. Pray, pray, pray for, pray. must have a funeral like men of God. Take him with you. Imprison the Amman soldiers. Treat the wounded and take the bodies for funerals. The killers of your husbands shall face Lex Talionis. You will receive your husband's blood money. Let's go. confiscated a great deal of wheat. But as soon as Yuzarsif came, everything changed. Some of us were wounded or killed. I myself was wounded. We had to retreat with a few remaining men. Oh, dear Padayama. You're such a fool. Even if Yuzarsif had not come and you had returned safely, Akhenaten would still destroy this temple and us as well. Which he will do now. Undoubtedly, Akhenaten's army will be here within the hour. What do we do? 